we're talking about the coupled inductor, which is used in flyback converters. And it is structure is very similar to a transformer in that it has a primary side and a secondary side, but it's a little bit different. You can see there's a ideal transformer in the component, but also a, an inductor, a magnetizing inductance. And these two together form the coupled inductor. And it's important because the in coupled inductor can store energy in the magnetizing inductor. And the amount of energy stored is just as in an inductor. So it is one half L I squared. So as long as current is going through the magnetizing inductance of the inductor, it is, there's energy in it. So this means that the power may not balance within the instantaneous power. For an ideal transformer, we know it must balance the input power and the output power. But for a coupled inductor, the primary voltage times the current may not equal the secondary voltage and current. So Virtual Valerie has drawn an example for us. And you can see we have our coupled inductor with input voltage on one side, a resistor on the output, and then two switches. These switches can be turned on and off, and they're going to emulate how power is going to go in and out of the coupled inductor in switching converters. So during phase one, we have S1 is on and S2 is off. And then we're going to have phase two. We're going to switch them. So S1 will be off and S2 will be on. So we're just going to do those two simple phases. And let's look at each of those diagrams. So for phase one, S1 is off as little Valerie, virtual Valerie is showing us. And we can just draw the current around the inductor. It's just an inductor like normal. So we have a voltage over inductor. So current is going to flow through it in the downward direction. And because of current, current going through the inductor, we are charging, putting energy into the inductor. So one half L I squared is going to be that value. Then we do it at phase two and virtual Valerie is showing us what's going to happen. The other phase S2 is on and the other one is off. And the thing we have to remember is that we just stored energy in the inductor and it has to go in the same direction because you can't instantaneously turn the change the current in an inductor. So the current will have to flow in this direction. And the only way it can go is through the ideal transformer. So this one's coming out of the dot. So it means it has to go into the dot on the secondary side. So based on that, we know the current direction of the current through the secondary side as shown here. So this is just defining and showing the diagram for the coupled inductor. It's an ideal transformer with a magnetizing inductance. Because of that inductance, it will store energy. And remember that it's going to be one half Li squared. So if there's current flowing through that inductor, there's energy stored in the coupled inductor. And because of this storage element, the instantaneous power on the primary and secondary may not be the same. So the input and output power may not be the same at one instant. The coupled inductor is used in converters like the flyback converter. And usually in one phase, there will be current going into one side and charging up the magnetizing inductor. And then it will be coming out of the other side during the second phase. 